Hi, I'm Steve. I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 2014 Road Warrior. This is a 305 model. So, uh, real nice fifth wheel that we got traded in. It does show that it's got some repairs on the roof and the sidewall, possibly some from some previous damage. I'm not sure what happened, but I'll point that stuff out and uh, let's, I'll point out the options and stuff too. So let's go take a look around. All right, Heartland does this nice decorative front cap and they've got a, a generous turning radius here so you can get away with a little shorter box truck. Uh, you got your 5,500 watt Onan generator and this coach has hydraulic front landing gear. So those are the benefit of those is just that they're really fast and they're easy to use. Nice big pass through storage right here. So in this storage compartment, some cool things. Uh, battery disconnect and then there's also a central vac and there's a port out here too so you can you know vacuum up this compartment or your truck uh, okay on the inside the the sidewall and the roof show a little bit of damage like something might have fallen on the unit and then they repaired it but I don't see any sign of repairs on the outside other than the rubber on the roof where it rolls around looks a little it's not quite as tight as the factory's job, but it all looks sealed up and everything. So I don't really have an explanation, but I'll show you what it looks like when we get to the inside. All right, tires look good. This is the back side of the refrigerator. You got electric awning. And then there's an entryway to the uh, garage. And uh, this unit has electric rear stabilizer jacks. So those are a real nice feature. So Heartland's got this big uh, big ramp door, they got a low ramp angle, so they got this like beaver tail so that, so that you don't rub as easily, and uh, they engineer these things real easy, you know the door is real light and easy to use for such a big door, so that's how that works. Door looks good too, the garage looks good, doesn't look like it's got damage, there might be some scratches in there. but. I don't see any. All right, there is some scratching back here, and it looks like it didn't affect the ladder, but there's just some scratches on the molding. This is the fuel station, so this should have at least one 20 gallon fuel tank. And uh, tires look good on this side, slide looks good. All the major systems on this coach have been tested and they operate correctly like the furnace, the water heater. This is where you connect your 50 amp electric connection. And then this is a nice space where all the um, utility happens. So you can hook up to your uh, city water here, you can flush the holding tank, and you can winterize. Uh, this coach should weigh about 12,000 pounds empty. And I think it's uh, got almost three, or a little over 3,000 pounds of carrying capacity. Let's go take a look inside. All right, so in the living area, you got this nice big uh, sofa right here, L-shaped sofa with the recliner or the uh, pull-out ottoman, and um, you've got a nice tall slide, got these good shades, and lots of storage in the kitchen. So just all these big tall cabinets, all these like pantry style cabinets, and then right up in there is one of the spots where there's some damage. Now this unit's been in some rainstorms here at the dealership and I haven't seen any leakage or anything. I'm not sure how that happened though. Got a nice big L-shaped counter here in the kitchen and then over here is a big TV with a fireplace underneath. Let's go take a look in the bedroom and then we'll go out in the garage. All right, in the bedroom there's a queen bed, and then you got these big closets in the front, and then there's a spot here for a washer dryer setup. It's got hot and cold water plumbed in there. So a nice spacious bedroom, got some uh, storage at the end of the bed. And let's go take a look in the bathroom. 
So the bathroom's pretty big. Got a built-in medicine cabinet, nice sink, porcelain toilet, and just a huge tub in here. So I'm 5'11". I got all kinds of space. So a real nice bathroom. All right, let's go look at the garage. This is a real nice feature to have too, is that you have this sliding glass door, lets in all this light, makes the space feel real open and huge, but it also can block out the fumes from whatever's in the garage. All right, so I think this is a 10 foot garage. Uh, this has a um, happy jack bed, so this is a queen bed on top, and then there is a dinette and the dinette folds into a bed or, or there's a table that comes with it and go in the center. Uh, now I just want to show you some more. One last issue with the sidewall, this is probably the worst spot, is in here it has this crack in the ceiling panel and that's not from leakage or rot, that's an actual crack. So, uh, but it's not leaking now or it never has leaked I should say probably from, from something hitting it. Also, I didn't really point it out, but there is a trim along this whole corner throughout the coach. So there's some added ceiling trim. So I just want to point that out too. So this RV is for sale at I-94 RV. We're in Wadsworth, Illinois, and you could reach us at 800-340-9500 or i94rv.com. Thanks for watching.